Sir Rakesh, uh, we are from uh, Gyaniki. Uh, we are the knowledge portals and we are looking for this space to get more information of what uh, Entpul is doing in the EV space. Can you please help us uh, to let us know what product ranges which you are making? So uh, we are a powertrain company based out of Bangalore uh, with R&D in Bangalore and Trivandrum. We basically make powertrains for uh, two-wheeler, three-wheeler, four-wheeler freight and uh, four-wheeler passenger application. So we have a bunch of powertrains in 48 volt systems and 320 and 660 volt system. Our 48 volt systems are uh, has hub motors and mid drives which essentially go into two-wheeler and three-wheeler. Uh, the USP that we have is uh, we make both the motors and controllers. So most uh, people, if you if you come across in the industry, would either be doing motors or controllers. We are one of the very few people in the industry who do both motor and controller, which helps our products to be highly optimized and to provide the maximum performance with the least energy uses. You are the all-rounder. You are an all-rounder uh, at the moment. When say both motors and motor control, definitely many are facing that issue. Motor is from someone control unit is from someone the integration makes a uh, big tr so it's a uh, beneficial for you it is beneficial for us but more than that we uh, look at it as beneficial for the industry at large because what the uh, OEMs are getting is a fully optimized uh, system which is plug and play so basically we have you have an intuple motor you have an intuple controller you just plug it and it is ready to go and it ensures that the energy uses is optimized effectively meaning that you can optimize your battery so for a lesser battery size you get the same range or for the same battery size you get a longer range so having said that the engineering is completely based out of uh, india or you have someone supporting from west we are entirely india based company we have an r&d team which is uh, around uh, 35 people spread across uh, bangalore and trivandrum uh, we consider ourselves as a technology company. We do not consider ourselves as a powertrain company or an EV company. We are a technology company. We make technologies specifically in the powertrain and charging station and uh, that's what we would continue to do. We have our own patents. Every single product that you see is... I was coming there when you said technology. I'm very happy to listen to that. Uh, how many patents has been filed from Antupid? Uh Filed, we have around uh, 20 patents filed so far. We have granted uh, patents for four patents and uh, we have another uh, 12 patents which is going into filing so oh, that's ex excellent that's excellent and with these patents being done how many of these patented ideas are in production uh, so out of those around uh, eight of them are in production and uh, there is another four which we are putting into production so by end of this year we will have about 18 of them in production okay when i get into the production space uh, what's the capacity which you have planned for this year so for the hub motor we are building a capacity of 180,000 units per annum uh, that is in a joint venture and uh, for mid drive again we are building a capacity of about 160,000 unit per annum both of these large plants will be operational from June uh, we currently have a capacity of 300,000 300, 3, units per uh, month uh, which will cater to our current demand and uh, we are starting to deliver so from June onwards we will start producing almost 25,000. Currently we do about 3,000 of hub motors and about 1,500 of uh, mid drives. So this pl the plant is based also in Bangalore? Or? Yes it is, yes. So the plants are based in Bangalore in Dodbalapur. Okay, so with this production, how do you think uh, training of these uh, people uh, with blue collar and white collars, they, are they already trained or are you seeing a gap there? Uh, so we are uh, actually training a lot of those people. We are actually hiring a lot of people who are coming straight out of the ITIs and uh, we are training them into winding technology. We are training them on uh, the magnet fixing and rotor uh, assembly technologies. As a matter of fact, we are sending about uh, four of those operators to uh, Taiwan next month to get trained on our uh, winding machines which we are importing from Taiwan so uh, yep we are training a lot of people and uh, there is not so much of talent available uh, in India where people have worked on uh, automated winding machines or automated uh, magnet fixing machines etc so yes we are investing in training we are investing in upskilling some of our operators so do you think for upskilling you are looking for any third-party trainers 
so far we have not uh, identified anyone but uh, if we find someone we will absolutely be happy to evaluate but uh, given that these are proprietary motors and these are uh, designed ground sub more often than not we end up training uh, our operators uh, definitely when technology is in us you don't want to give it away good i moving to the next question here um, when we are talking about uh, technology and then how uh, how is it a challenge for retaining people uh, See, EV is a growing industry and therefore uh, there will be challenge on people and uh, that challenge will continue to be there because if you if you have to attract the best talent, uh, we need to provide the best environment, we need to provide the best compensation and uh, more importantly, we need to provide them a significant amount of challenge. See, the new uh, sets of engineers and there are a lot of people who come passionate with it and we focus on people who are extremely passionate, that's our core. Uh, the rest of it is all industry dependent but we focus a lot on hiring the most passionate people uh, all the product that you see here are every single thing of it is conceived designed built and delivered in india i now, definitely see that passionate also from your side as a leader i'm sure you would also hire those people who are coming with passion and purpose then it becomes easy to develop technology based uh, components um, and uh, moving to the incentives given by government how much is it uh, beneficial to i am seeing that benefits mostly are at the oem levels but at a component level also are you getting some benefits so while we don't have benefits at the component level but indirectly it actually uh, uh, comes down to that because end of the day if a vehicle manufacturer has to have uh, more than 50 percent localization they definitely need to localize the powertrain and they definitely need to localize the battery without that they cannot reach 50 percent so in an indirect way it does help us and uh, yes we do not have a direct benefit from the government but uh, indirectly those uh, subsidies do help us wow when you said uh, supply chain and uh, localization at the moment how much is uh, in terms of percentage uh, what's the import content of our products yes uh, we are 70 percent localized we only purchase things which are not produced in india uh, which are those namely permanent magnets which are not produced in india but we are working with a number of companies who are trying to set up permanent magnet uh, manufacturing or processing in India and we are hoping that in the next two three years uh, we should be able to localize that the other is the electronics component which is essentially your microprocessors MOSFETs drivers so all those things which are not produced in India but anything and everything that gets produced in India we buy locally here so we are 70 percent localized every how do you secure those components semiconductors I know there is already in the market you place some advanced booking and then yes so uh, we have advanced bookings it's also a lot to do with relationships with the OEMs and uh, the large uh, distributors uh, over a long period of time we have been able to build that because a lot of those developments that we did grounds up was also with support of uh, some of these distributors and uh, OEMs so they they are invested in us and we are invested in them that uh, helps. that's definitely that's how if you need our OEMs I'm sure your business is running who are your customers uh, Mr. Uh, we have a number of customer we have area mobility as our customer we are uh, working with uh, multiple other customers uh, which because of confidentiality reasons I cannot reveal but uh, we are we are we currently have an order book position of uh, 400,000 units over the next five years the deliveries will start from next month wow so passion and purpose motivation also behind uh, thank you mr. Mishra for having us and giving us the opportunity and n tupil is uh, one of the technology uh, motor and motor control units which India has been seeing and we need such organization for the mobility space to have make in India and uh, already Mr. Mishra is in that uh, game and they are definitely having about uh, multiple patents patents also converted to production they have passionate people working around and they are also in-house talents they have been uh, accelerating their knowledge by sending them to the West to gain more knowledge and come back to India and produce more efficient and cost-effective products for the mobility space thank you Mishra for having us we are so Gyaniki and it is uh, great talking to you great talking to you thank you so much thank All you the best to you thank, thank you. you very much